you guys it is mary and Amma. and we are reviewing mary the first sight boston edition yes, we are back yes honey honey but okay so we just gonna get right into it but first we want to invite you guys to like share subscribe and comment down below your mm -hmm. thoughts after you guys finish watching this, okay? Yes, 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 um, yes. Well, we're going to get right into it. I just want to first talk about the matchmaking. Mm -hmm. Now, personally, I feel like it's not good when a man is an overthinker and the woman's more practical. Mm -hmm. I think it's okay for a woman to be over an overthinker and the man to be more practical. That way yeah. he can ease her. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. So that's a little bit weird for me. Well, not weird, but that it's just a Michael little, like, a yellow Jasmina. flag. Have been matched up. Yeah, some yeah. of the things they said, I just didn't necessarily like agree with, mm -hmm. and like how like because their parents have, they have never seen that a healthy real relationship, love, a healthy relationship. So and so they thought it would be a good idea to match to those put two, the two who have not seen a. You know, sometimes you don't have to put like in the same experience with someone attract, yeah. you know what i'm saying i think that if somebody doesn't know what a good relationship looks like it's probably good for somebody who does know what it looks like so that they can help bring that person down to earth if anything yeah. gets too crazy yeah you know what i'm saying yeah so so i don't know yeah and then on top of that he says he has an issue with being vulnerable and how he's going to now be super vulnerable isn't yeah. that what Zach said? And we see what he did to Michaela. you know i never actually saw Zach. i saw his confession but the when I came in when as she was walking down the aisle, and I looked in his face. He he looked at her and then turned away. It was like, and I was like, he is not attracted to her, and he showed it the whole way through. But you know, for me this time around, I think? feel like okay, the. Good counselors had us on such a roller coaster last time and I see the counselors it was all about their awful decisions in terms of all the couples the last the five last, seasons they the have done a horrible married, job the yeah. last five, especially once they did Paige so wrong yeah I have then, an issue and, with them yeah. so I'm, it's even hard for me to watch right you now. see I didn't watch Paige's season listen so, nobody wanted to watch yeah, that I man. never watched that season actually I am uh, I had seen part of it on YouTube just like three minutes, they were showing. They were showing when he was really rude to her, and I just said, "Oh, I can't watch that. Someone is being abusive. I can't watch that." And I just didn't watch it at all. Look, I did not but, watch it either, but it was such huge news because even the shade room and all the blogs oh, yeah. were talking oh, about yeah. it. I mean, like I that's how it, horrible yeah. it was. I just, I just avoided it. I just, yeah. I was just like, I avoided like the plague. I but just, then I saw know. the reunion and I saw the way he was cussing out the pastor and all this stuff. I was yeah, like, you told oh, me about that. okay. Yeah. So with this one, what you did know, you think I when am, he walked when she walked down the aisle? What, I what think vibe did you he, get? She was almost in tears, and she was trying to hold it, and so was he. He kept on saying, "Wow!" Once he saw her, even you know, look at how he's walking down the aisle. He's, he's like, "This is my woman. This is my woman. Here, this is my. You see you me? Check her out. You yes. see her? Yes. Yes. So, so I think I am. I'm a very hopeful about Michael and Paige, and I hope they both will Michael remember. Michael and Jasmine. Oh, sorry. Michael and Jasmine. Don't Jas put that bad juju on I them know. all. Michael and Jasmine, sorry. So I'm just hoping that, I really hope that they work. Because yeah. he has had so much loss in his life. It I just pulls both, my heart string. Both parents died and then of cancer. Her, yeah. And then with her, and fairly when he was young, you know? Yeah, and he's the baby of the family, so he baby. probably didn't even get to see much of his parents. Not like yeah. the old, elder, older ones did. Yeah, so that's sad. But, um, so we'll see. I, I have hope for them. Those two, I have hope for them. So let's, we're, we're watching gonna watch the Lindsay other one and Mark. now. She yeah. got married to him yesterday, so we're going to see how that's going. Oh, voices. <laughs> I like Jasmine and um, Michael. They're actually kind of cute. Jasmina. Jasmina. Yeah. They're kind of cute. You know, they I are. have high hopes. I really do. Oh, I don't want to say Just high hopes. Just because they both seem so sweet. Like, she, she's the eldest of her family. And he's the and baby. he's the youngest. So that can actually work. I don't well, know about no, man being the baby. Because they spoiled. Yeah. You got to be like... Think, Okay, I have a brother, and his wife, okay, the wife is the eldest, and my brother is the eldest, and they get along superb. 
so it, well okay i don't know so i wanted to go into now let me see my parents my dad is the eldest and my mom is the youngest well they're not together no more well 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 <laughs> oh, i mean at least they stayed together for 30 years does that count <laughs> Depends how good 30 years was. Mm. <laughs> now. Grandma is going to kill <laughs> us. We love you, Grammy. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I like them together, you know. I do. I, really I do, do. And I don't, I don't want to be disappointed because, you know. know, they start off so good and then you see a commercial where mm -hmm. everything goes downhill and you're like, what Just the hell tea. happened? Remember Jeff T? Cheated she on her did. when she was pregnant. Mm. That's mm. the worst mm. thing mm. a man can do to a woman, That's besides be her. And it's Shanice. Shanice. I think what happened, well. I never okay. expected that from Jeff T. Never. And now I'm looking at him sideways every time I see him. He was on TV. He let it go to his head. He was like, oh, I'm so The fine. women were calling him, slipping in his DMs, and he just decided to just slip in and keep on swimming. I'm about to dive in. Mm -hmm. Hot <laughs> mess. So I'm holding out, and uh, for this, for uh, this Michael, and hopefully it'll work because they both seem like nice, genuinely. They both seem like very nice people. Yeah. And I just really want them to work. How about the other girl? I don't know. I didn't catch her name. The Lindsay one... and Mark. He is not interested in her. Yeah. He just looks like, what the hell am I, I mean, doing here, and he's... why am I with her? Like, yeah, he looks so, like, no. He's like, no. no. And, like, she, you know, and the thing is, you can always tell when a man's not interested in you. When you are trying to get to know more about him than he is about you. Yeah. You know, and she's, like, asking him all these questions and stuff, and yeah. he's like, okay, please he's stop giving, talking to me. Like, oh, my God. very quick answers. To, like, kind of. moving on, and not even watching her a lot at all. Yeah. He's looking at everything but at her. And also that dress was not flattering on you, sis. You it needed wasn't. something, maybe like a mermaid, and maybe just like something. some breast tape girl. Yeah. It just wasn't It flattering wasn't flattering. It made all. her look pregnant almost. Yeah, and I don't know what the father was. They trying to crack some jokes. Talking about have you gone gator hunting. Okay. I don't know if they're in Florida. First they're in Boston. Yeah, There's but, not but gators you know, there, not is every, there. There are some people who are so against hunting. So I don't even know why the father will bring that up. That It's not even your day. This is your daughter's day. Well, also, you and know, they do call her. Him. Yeah. I keep on wondering. But well, they said she's the wild card, so she's like really talkative. I know she's already dropping f bombs and stuff, so mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like he's already not attracted to you, and then you're also like out there. And yeah. I think he's just like, oh my god, that's how yeah. that's the vibe I'm getting, man. Yeah, I'm just not like getting like I'm not getting like wow, is this it, is like because remember that guy Jamie and the other guy and that girl mm -hmm. who she was a firecracker too. But the thing about that was he kept on watching her. He was enticed by her. I think the reason why they stayed together him. was the lust a little yeah. bit. <laughs> like, I, like yeah. I ain't never going to get nobody finer than her. No. She might be crazy. I'm crazy as well, but we just going to be crazy together. But at least the sex will be wrong. And he said so at the at <laughs> For the him place. anyway, because she knows how okay, like, sex. He's like, we're in this together, okay? Yeah. Bad relationship and all, we're in this together. Oh, here they are. Okay, they're back. They're back. I'm sure it was good for him. I don't know about Lindsay and Mark, man. I'm telling you, I don't know. And then she just said there's a lot of kittens in one house. I don't, I don't think it was a yeah, little too early. She's, yeah, she's cursing like a sailor. Not that there's anything wrong with cursing, but I mean, just on the first it day. Is, it is something wrong with it when you're cursing, like, at your wedding to a stranger who does not know you. And I just think it's feel like not a good look. The P word is such a vulgar word to describe a female's private yeah. parts. Anyway. You know, I just, anyway, I just, uh, I'm not judging nobody, I, I but I'm know, just saying, like, I'm, girl. Yeah, I'm just wondering. Like, yeah. I feel like it might be a little, because some people, you know, one, she, don't like cursing. Two, people, yeah. some, two, some people might not like that word. And three, some people might be off by it. And then four, Someone might think lower of you as if you don't speak proper English. Yeah. So That's this true. just, I think you should be a little cautious. Yeah. And you don't want to, me personally, like, even you I always said, you shouldn't give the whole enchilada, even when you are married. Let alone married, the first date. <laughs> let alone the first date. I mean, even 20 me, years but, from but now, I there should be a little bit of spice, like a little mystery. Like, oh, what's she do in the bathroom? Like, how yeah. come I can't see you? How'd she get ready? Like, it should be a little some, a little something. mystery. Don't let her let him know that you cuss like a sailor. You do this. Anyway, whatever. 
to she each its own. Did she seem drunk to you? <laughs> because when when I first saw her, she was kind of like kind of slurring, and that, that's what I'm thinking. Because maybe you know she could be like myself. She could be like someone who cannot handle liquor. I mean, when I used to drink, I don't drink anymore. But it's like I college, could not okay? handle it at all. Like so, it could be, that could be her when they went and they took their little. She champagne. doesn't peg me as somebody who will be a lightweight. Too. I'm talking about her. I'm, I'm no, I'm talking no, about her too. No, I know some people who are very. I mean, yeah, she's being all like this, but that doesn't mean. No, she, I'm not saying maybe, that's why, but I'm just saying it doesn't. It seems like she's really comfortable with herself, so I don't think she'll be somebody who's like, not like she would shy away. I don't know. Yeah, but but the thing is, it's just some people just cannot handle like. When if I when I used to drink, my friends were always surprised. Like, you only had a tiny bit. What's going on here? And I will be totally out. So there's just some people. Hey, well, put well, down what if in the she's comments. not drunk? I don't. I thought that she she seemed she seemed kind of unsteady. Even y'all on have feet. to forgive us, okay? Because we did not watch yeah. the first episode, yeah. so we don't know if this is how she really is. Because or even if on this her is, feet, she seemed kind of off. So maybe. Because the guy was laughing, so maybe he knows that she... Anyway, we'll see. And Let's see how like the said, reception goes. Like I said, y'all gotta forgive us because we did not watch the first episode, so we don't know if when she met the the, the psychologist or whatever y'all like to call them, I, we don't know if this is her character or not. Y'all let us right. know. Catch us up, okay? Because this, <laughs> this is the first time we watching it, honey. But, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, he said that he's hoping that it will last I, a while and everything. Yeah. I don't think marriage. he's into her. Yeah, but I, I don't. See, I don't think this man is into her, but, you know, who knows? Yeah, and then yeah. I don't know what the situation is with the mom. His mom wasn't there. And then I didn't hear if he said that somebody had died in his family. But so she said, oh, they're there in spirit or something. So I don't know what's going on. And then the mom wasn't there, but he said that his landlord... Came. I think he was joking. Was he? Me? No, that's his actual landlord. This there, he said his mom could not come. She did not make it, and she she asked him, "Oh, you is have that mama tough situation?" She whatever. says that tough situation. He said, "Yeah, I wish that I can relate. You know, my mom was tough too." Yeah. So, also uh, they both have maybe probably not great relationships with the mom. So why would you put them together? This is, what, this is why I, listen, y'all be calling them experts, like, they're not guys, experts, they're human beings who don't know how to prepare people to save their lives. Pastor Cal, I know you got problems with your wife, Peppa, I don't know what's going on in your marriage. Vivian, aren't you single? So I don't know why any of these people are here being experts. Y'all can cuss me out, I don't care, but I said what I said. <laughs> I can't. Y'all have ruined too many lives for y'all to be any type of expert. <laughs> It's back on. We'll be back. I'm looking for Dr. Viviana's ring at this point. And who is this? All they're doing the other two. Okay, Kat, Katina, and ex Playboy. Was he a Playboy? Okay. Oh, hell no. I cannot. I don't know if I'm I'm actually, you know, I think I'm checked out. Um, I actually cannot. Her name is Noir. You have one joker here who ain't got a job. No. Why y'all keep on doing this to women? It is yeah. effed up. I know. Do not give no woman, no man yeah. who broke and ain't got no money to his name. We are tired life. of dating Thank broke you. men. Ooh, child. And you see how Mirla skipped herself on. The bottom line is everyone is tired of dating anybody who's broke. Do you know what the cost of living with all the Especially stuff men. Oh, men have been so. I think women are really tired of, you know, men not having themselves together. Women want somebody who is career driven, who is focused, who has money, and is focused on their future, you know, and is prepared for life. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I my think thing is, men should goal, strive for greatness. Yeah, my thing is this why go to a dating show? With no job, unemployed. What do they do to that? You, you're ready to get married. Like this, these days, it almost takes like two incomes. But right, right off the bat, it don't really take two incomes. Yeah, but right off the bat, you ain't got a job. So I don't know. I don't want it to be another Merla and Gill situation, where and please let's not find out that this lady told them she wants someone who has some means 
and they decide the unemployed guy will be best for you. I hope it's not because I almost didn't want to watch Merit at first sight this time because after last season, after how all it was the just, men treated Michaela it was just and ugly. then the Marla and Gil, none of them are together. None even of them are together. Bao and Zach, he cheated on her. Cheated on her with how many women we don't even know. Well, we know it was. We a never even did an updated video about all those people. And I didn't want to be bothered. That's that's just how I know. Maybe we'll do that. In Rachel chapter. is no longer with that Jose. Hell Jose. Thank God, because that man was an abuser. No, was just, he was just waiting. Just that was waiting. scary. Yes. That they even, that she even said yes. I was like, whew. Yeah. Okay. But Mira okay. she skipped herself on. It's no longer with Gil. We, I mean, which Michaela, I knew. Michaela. Oh, oh, Merlin. I right. knew Merla. that she wasn't gonna stay with that joker. No. Who ain't got no damn job. No. And then them bullying her. I just hope you guys don't let this beautiful woman have to deal with this. But like, oh, in the country of Laos. Oh, she's from Laos. Well, that's a pretty dress, actually. I like yeah, the lace. Looks very well on her. Very yeah. well done. Beautiful. Yeah, I saw about the other couple, so too. So, her family migrated to America. You know, I never she liked young. lace wedding dresses, but that is so, that is so nice. pretty. Like, very oh well God. done. Very well done. That dress that other girl got. I had a girl. Yeah. What was you? Anyway, I... It's so important to know how to dress for your body as a woman. You know, it's hard to find. I, I think, when did I start knowing how to do that? I'll say maybe my late 20s, 30s, when I started really knowing what picked me and stuff. Okay, so this is his brother. His name is Steve. How is he even paying for the suit? That's why I want to know. Maybe, his brother, maybe he has some money saved up. I don't know. All that excitement will go out the window when she found out you ain't got no damn job. That's oh, so this is his other brother, too. You can't go wrong, buddy. How do you as brothers let this man get married with no job? Maybe he has money saved up. We'll see. We'll find out. We'll find out. Because it's going to come out. I'm not. She should win with other guys. I like the other dress better. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Although this is not, I'm liking the lace. I don't like how they do wedding dresses. Like they cut it like right in the middle of your midsection. Mm -hmm. You like if it's going to be transparent at the top. I feel like it should be some type of delicate cut that kind of like shapes her well. I just don't like that. Yeah, instead of sharp just, cut. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it should be like a V yeah, cut or something, mm -hmm. or like a round cut or something. Yeah, I don't that's know. not flattering on her waist. No, even it makes your waist look bigger actually. Yeah, it's just showing like. She has a waistline. <laughs> you no, know it's I mean? making her seem like she has a stomach. Like a stomach, right, right. The other one was very flattering. And it seems all tight here at the this top. This guy looks so familiar, as though I have seen him on one of these reality shows. Oh, this God. dude. Don't let him be one of those people, Mom. You guys, have you seen Steve somewhere before? He looks like someone I have seen in one of these reality shows. We gotta talk about the ex Playboy and the other woman. Now that's oh, yeah, on yeah, break. Yeah. You know what I saw I him do? They had like a bridal or what what do they call it? Groom's party. That man was that, shirtless, dancing and, on some woman or something yes. like that. Yes. My issue is you have this guy. One, who, listen, he's not attracted to me. I would not even look at him if he was walking on the street. But what, you have this guy who thinks that he's so fine, mm -hmm. who knows he's confident, who was an ex-playboy, who's been on Tinder. I don't think anything wrong with people who've been on Tinder. Yeah. But and then you also have the girl who said that she has lived her life, she has had her fun, and now they're ready to get married. Why they're would you have two people who down. have been out there playing the field like, like it's some hockey game getting together? Yeah. It don't make... This is why I say y'all not experts. <laughs> why I say this? Because Maybe you need to be on that show. You probably I would do. never. I would y'all. Why I should no, go on that no, show no, no, and no, no, be no. caught like, be dead? Be somebody ruining my counselors. life? No, y'all ain't gonna ruin my life. No, be one of the counselors. I mean, they they could never pay me enough for that. <laughs> 
It okay. just it doesn't make why would you match yeah. these two people together? This man's yeah. already talking about how he wants everybody to be saying how fine he is. You are short. You, Let's start there. Well, you know what was so funny? Actually, he's not too short, but you know what was so funny? He's the still, lady, anything under six foot is short. I'm sorry, not yeah. sorry. Okay, the he the sister in law, the sister in law. <laughs> you're really you're you're on it today. I guess we all have one of our days. So but he the the uh, his sister in law asked him, she said, You gonna take her breath away? And he's like and he's like, Yes, I know, because I I took my own breath away. <laughs> I thought that was cute though. <laughs> Listen, and listen. And then he was a mess. And then the other thing was the sister in law says, I mean, you are a lot for anybody. You think she'll be able to handle you? I so, so now the man's when not people humble. say that man, He's I don't not know. humble. So this is a guy who'll be there with you in public when y'all went to the Panda Express. He'll be looking to see one woman checking him out, popping his collar, probably licking his lips. Probably like, fixing his chain like on his LL wrist, cool like chain. yeah. I know I'm fine. I love me some. You LL. see, you see them checking me out. You see, check, you lucky to have me. You lucky. Yes. You lucky even chose you. When it's actually the matchmakers who chose each other, idiots. I cannot. <laughs> I cannot. Well, like, let us wait and see. Let us. This man is. Con- Listen, I rather choose somebody who is butt ugly than somebody who no. is too comp too no. overly confident. Remember, I rather have somebody who's humble. That just say that humble. Okay, not butt ugly, because, but humble. Yeah, there's some dudes who are who who are who ugly and who will make great, you feel bad. But they will, yeah, because they have yeah. their own issues, their own self esteem issues and stuff like this that. This man's not humble at the all. He probably just thinks to he's God to give to women. Well, I mean, let's see. Yeah, that man look like he's 5'8", five, 5'9", five, talking thing, about he's so fine. You know, that I man look a, very short in that suit. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot what I had to say. <laughs> <laughs> now what are you going to say? What are you going to say? I have actually forgot to. Anyway, okay. yeah, that man... Um, he will come. He will come, and we will see. Ugh. Halloween is over. Why are all these horror movies coming out? Safe Safe Home? Home. Lifetime original. I thought Oxygen was for horror movies, not TLC. (laughs) Anyway. Yeah. (laughs) The brothers making fun of him crying. What is going on with Elijah One? Mom said this. He just started breaking down. What's going on? I'd be nervous. I'd be scared. I'd be anxious. Mom said this is act number two. Whatever you we'll see, see, whatever happens, it's good, bad, ugly, smooth, rough. We got you, family, bro. I cried so oh, I'm, I'm wiping. Um, yeah, I'm, well, I can't wipe myself. And no, I let spill some juice. That's all. I'm sure they're like, "What's going on with her?" No, okay. It's a lot of emotions. A large one. Like, we got a crier over here. First time we've seen a crying. The moment is becoming realer and realer. I mean, and so I'm far, right? Physically, me. The first crier. Well, we had Zach last season. Up, and I feel like right, but finally, since they're I mean, all be doing the ma- okay. This okay. is your destiny. This is your story. This is a large one's sister. Okay, this is sister. He is really crying. Okay. He hugged the, the producer because he felt vulnerable. I'm done with these dating apps. God take the wheel, man. <laughs> love and faith is real. You don't need to know how it comes, when it comes. You just need to go with the flow and follow your heart. Okay. I'm ready. The time has came. I can't. I really. Y'all don't have. 
this fool up? I'm trying to evaluate in my head if I'm crazy or not for doing this because it's not normal and I feel like a lot of people won't understand. But I feel like I should just take the chance on love. <laughs> some of the rice I like that little them. thing behind them. That's kind of cute. The arch. Oh, yeah, that's very beautiful. That is very unique. I haven't seen that type of arch before. So you going to sit here and tell her about your past? Because you keep on bringing it up. So it seems like you about to tell her about everything you did. I hope not. Listen, you get married, you don't have to tell nobody nothing about your past. It's not their business. Um, so she's walking down the aisle. Um, I Which just think one? it's weird. This guy is talking about how they walk away and he feels vulnerable. He's already crying out of the drop of a hat. Nothing's even happened yet. I the producer just seems. I never in my life have I seen somebody so hug a producer on the show. Me of, he so reminds me of Zach. Like, I think anyone who watched the last MAF S. Anyone who watched that has PTSD from it, so yeah. Anywho, let's just do live reaction. He's talking to everybody she? now. Where, Where is she? Where, Where is, she? is she? Like he it's has so fake. Yeah, oh my it's almost God. Like, like he has to be a center of attention. That's what I was saying. Before this the man bride is even comes, he just seems conceited. But let's see, let's see. You know. Oh, I love her bouquet. It's kind of like yeah. He said, whoa, I think. He said, oh. That's how he said, whoa. Oh, okay. Thank you. Hi, I'm Katina. Olajuwon. What is it? Olajuwon. Olajuwon. Yeah. Katina? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Obviously, she doesn't watch basketball, so she's stumbling over the word Olajuwon. Those of us (laughs) NBA fans. We know. It is. Allah Juan. <laughs> we know him. Okay. I'm full of tattoos. H oh. Tau. Side of my hip, okay. everything. I can't stop looking at you. You are beautiful. Oh, thank Seriously. you. Seriously. He's waiting for her to say back to him. I would love to see you. Oh, yeah. See, I told you. Oh, sorry. I just, you know, I'm nervous. Hey, hey. He was waiting for her to compliment him. That's why he kept on saying she's beautiful. Yeah, try to match me. <laughs> you did good. Thank you. Okay. You saw how he said, "What? Well, I hope you like what you see." Did you hear him say that? He said, "I hope you like what you see." After he you said I, that, I think you're beautiful for the, for the third time. And, and she didn't say anything. And he's like, "Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just nervous." So now she's already apologizing. Is a ball of energy. We hope you come with a lot of patience. <laughs> Elijah Wan absolutely loves his family. You not only gained the husband today, but the family that comes with him. I'm getting sick and tired of these women have to have patience for these men. Gathering. You are a man. Elijah his brother's eyes are literally on the floor like this. Oh my God, and I didn't even tell y'all. The brother was like making fun of him, laughing at him, crying. Like, oh. oh my and then even he was saying that I don't believe soulmates are for real with a ring on his finger. This, I, this, I don't have high hopes for this couple. Elijah Wan has worked hard for what he has. We hope more than anything you do not judge him before you have the opportunity to understand him. Okay. And friends would like you to know. I, uh, Katina's a social this will end okay, badly. Okay, let's see. She's literally been saying she's getting married for the past five years. <laughs> what happy is finally happening today. Katina so she's desperate. Out, Why would you say that to her future as husband? With her family and friends. Katina's as beautiful as she is endearing. But behind that pretty face is an opinionated woman who may be a bit blunt at times. <laughs> but don't worry, she's working on that. <laughs> Katina's friends are her family, whose opinion she values more than her own. She is a confident woman. You have to say you about the work on you being so blunt, because I'm as blunt as you. you. Ready to receive it. 
this woman. Is so <laughs> I'm so happy I dated you. Now, I believe you guys both wrote your personal vows. Mom has leaned all the way out of the picture. I to say that you are my answer to <laughs> We both have chosen to do something so crazy. Oh. Having you stand across from me at this moment, all I feel is comfort because it tells me that you're a man who's willing to take a chance on love. Oh my God. But once you know this commitment is something that I don't take lightly, I promise I will always listen, have patience and understanding with you. I promise to always honor and respect you. But most importantly, I promise to trust you and always put you first. I vow to you, you're marrying a woman who will try and be the best wife that she can be. And I'm looking forward to seeing you. I don't even think this fool takes it seriously. I'm, I'm not getting serious vibes from him. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I don't think he's serious. I'm going to try to go off my heart, so. Oh, he's going to go off his heart. I've been my whole life, but I'm filled with joy that you're standing here in front of me today. I promise to be honest and truthful, but I promise to protect you. I promise to keep the spark in our relationship. By I don't know. Her face isn't. I don't know. There's something off. And if I had to go back 10 years of dating with trial and failure to become the best version of myself, I would do it again for you. Hmm? I can't wait to get over with you. <laughs> you go, you go, you'll you give up the whole My playboy life for her. You No, he said, no, he said, no, he said I would do it all over again to be the best man that I am for you now. These rings represent the time. God, take the wheel, man. Take the wheel. That means that uh, I wouldn't change my Playboy lifestyle. You would have gone through all of that. Take a slow look. Okay. Okay, yeah. We're good. It looks good. I can't take it off now. Wait, man. I just did. The authority vested in me. You see her friend at the back. The friend at the back. That was so. Y'all, y'all, y'all. This man. Zach is 2.0. This is going to be a mess. Even she was looking at him like, I don't really think you're genuine. The way she had her head tilted the whole time. I used to girlfriend, her girlfriend at the back. Did you wipe her mouth? As husband and wife. Elijah Wan and Katina. What, what did she do? Was she wiping? Mm -hmm. Means her hair. She does not look that happy. You see his fly open? No. I'm not getting sparks or vibes from them, really. I'm sure the old brother, like, what this fool doing over here? Up in this <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't make no sense. He said, this will make no sense. I'm like, can I say you're shocked? So if you believe I'm somebody's wife, but he is handsome. How's everything going for you? How do you feel? I feel about that. Let me see if I can pronounce this correctly. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, I feel about that. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. She is gorgeous. You know, my wife's hot. I'm just staring at her. I just want to look at her. I just can't believe that I'm married. Well, so what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> like, did I make a bad decision? Oh, man. I would ask for another kiss, but I don't want to be. Come on. I think he doesn't have anything to say, so he wants to try to make it physical. I don't know. Woo! That's good. Oh my God, man! You said caring and loving and patience. I'm a lot to handle. Like I just, my energy's high. Okay. All right. Good to know. I 
it just like a like a shot? I mean, have a cigarette? Do what you, you want to do. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just excited. I'm just so, like, I don't even know what's happening. I'm nervous because it's always been me, I, and a lot of you on, but I have my other half now, and she's perfect. I just want you to know I'm never going to drop the ball when it comes to commitment. She's I'm perfect, gonna give you 100% he says. Me. He will not drop the ball. I want you to know he that. He's going to give it 100% him. Our good times, him. Our bad times, open up. If I say something that bothers you, pull me to the side. Talk to me. Mm -hmm. You're my wife. You're not a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. It's a lifelong commitment I'm trying to have. So mm -hmm. be verbal. I meant what I said on my vows when I said I would protect you. So I have my stuff all together. Um, you know, I'm only missing one piece of the puzzle. And now you're here. It's like a dream Is he too. holding her Seriously? flowers? I knew she wasn't feeling him. <laughs> I love you. I love you. No cheers to that. Very the first time already being shady as hell with the editing. We can already say that that's damn skippy. When they know they when they don't want to, mm. you know, just of watching him. I'm I am exhausted. tired. Yeah. yeah. You, I have a headache. Show has not even started yet. I'm tired. I... What do you all think of Elijah? <laughs> <laughs> he is like Zachary 2.0. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing right He flags. went down on his knee. Mom, it was so random. Her. This man was like. <laughs> man, will you marry me? <laughs> way to do it. Like, he said, I don't know. What the hell? I just did it. I... So he wanted or needed to be listen. the center of attention. Y'all, I'm trying to not be negative today. I'm really trying, but I'm getting fake vibes. I'm getting disingenuine. Does. <laughs> <laughs> because, but I mean, you got it's to out there real. somewhere. Like, uh, I mean, what y'all think, y'all? This man. I mean, y'all. I mean, I feel sorry for anybody who's thinking this is a great couple. I, I will. I will strongly encourage you to go get new glasses. Um, <laughs> like, um, it ain't gonna Ooh. work. She, cause even when she was at the altar, she was looking like this the whole time. This ain't gonna work. This ain't gonna work. I don't like listening to him talk. This ain't gonna work. <laughs> He annoying me already. This ain't gonna work. Like, that's how she just was like, I'm so done. Why am I here? This was the worst mistake of my whole life. <laughs> like, she just looked like, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think towards the I think end, she's gonna be she humbling really, him very by much. By the time she's looking into the champagne glass to she, say, she said, I, I need actually another need a shot. shot. <laughs> Not the champagne. I want a shot. Hard liquor. That's what she wants. She wants the She wants the strong liquor. stuff. <laughs> That man she has said tired seems, her out. She, if we are getting tired, exhausted, just listening to him. Can you imagine how she's feeling? She's like, oh, God, where are my family? Can I Like, why away? are you talking about yourself? You should be asking her questions. From the moment Don't he started. Don't nobody care about you. You should both be asking I mean, the woman the questions about her. The thing is, y'all, it should be mutual, yes. but you're just talking about yourself. It's I mean, of course, like of course people care about you, but... It's well, like he cannot read the room. Read well, the room, bro. I said it. He seems conceited and he seems selfish. And himself. he has admitted that he was selfish. And then you're already like taking it back like it's a shot. So now you're trying to remind now you're trying to let her know or hint that you used to be a party boy. So now you're already trying to talk about how your past life. And then and he says he's, he's a physical person, he says. And he asked for another kiss. Did she look like she wanted to kiss him? She hesitated again? for so long. It doesn't look like though she's ready. I don't you think got... he had anything to say, so he wanted to make it physical. He's like, let's kiss and maybe there'll be chemistry there that maybe we can just kiss all night or whatever. I don't know. It was just awkward. She was just was like, awkward. oh, God, I have to kiss him again. It's almost like he can't read the room and he doesn't care to. Even if he reads the room and he sees that, shut the hell up, Elijah Wan. 
He's still gonna keep on. I gotta be the center of attention because I'm a large where one. Is she? Hit the where is she? I look like James Bond. Remember, he was saying, "Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Where is she?" Like he wanted people <laughs> watching him or saying something. I don't know, bro. This is just honestly okay, a mess. Who else old. is getting married? It's good. Let's, let's, let's just. I also want to talk about this girl and her wedding dress. Which one? The dress that you chose was very unflattering, and you're wearing gold cowboy boots. You couldn't. Uh, let's just, no, oh, let's no, this is, oh, the Brokey and Noe. <laughs> eh, Papa, go ahead. <laughs> if y'all pair women with another broke man, I'm really going to call somebody. And I'm going to file a complaint. Show if you don't even Got have a, a J-O-B. Way of I am too. <laughs> Gil, <one>, Gil 2.0. <laughs> I look like this about be about three couples that are breaking up already. Who is, um, I don't know what that, who that last couple is. She's the one with the black that hair. That was the one who's country. Okay, and she was already saying like she's like some things have been said, and um, I just find it unacceptable or something. She gets up and walks away or whatever. But she also said that if the person who walk who she said if she walks down the aisle and she sees that the man has snaggle teeth, it's gonna be over. And he has snaggle teeth, and they're brown. (laughs) Oh, what experts at this point? You mean juveniles? So. Um, so that's the case with her. Obviously, he did something to offend her. Um, and then the we have other another guys. Michaela situation with the friends who are saying that, oh, she's very dramatic. You're in for a ride. Right. Who do, do what, who, 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 who are your friends? And what is the point of doing that? Did you not hear our show when we were in on the family of Michaela's? For calling her Hurricane Michaela, why you are don't you guys do doing that. that now to your Y'all friend, family? Y'all have no family? sense of loyalty. It's so ridiculous! So Ugh. ridiculous! Like you don't have to say things about your friend. He can. He'll find out on his own. And however the friend friend is, I so just, now he's already going to be like uh, on watch. He's going to be watching you extra to see if you're going to be dramatic. What if there's no toilet paper? She's like, oh my god, babe, there's no toilet paper. Oh my god, you're so dramatic, just like your friend said. Uh, like, like, what is this? It. Y'all don't it know how to be friends. Yeah. And y'all don't know how to be family, and it's a damn shame. Yeah, you're in for a ride. Who asked you? Mm-hmm. Who asked you? Mm-hmm. Um, huh. and who else? And then the one woman was asking, the what one, are your intentions with my daughter? That's the one, uh, what's his name? A large one. I, don't, I can't remember what her name is. Um, I can't remember her name either. Yeah. But even when he was trying to kiss her on the cheek, she as he like, picked up, she just, you could tell it's quite distasteful to her at this point. Stop kissing her. She's not into you. Yeah. But I think he thinks that he's so attractive that odd. woman will just be yeah. accepting. It's odd when you're like, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. As though you don't know how to make a conversation. You do you have anything else to tell me? Probably not. Apart from you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Wow. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Just it's almost like this. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> He's maybe one of those people. You know how sometimes you're sitting with someone and you're not really comfortable with that person and you cannot sit in silence. You know? Yeah. That's how you know when you have a really good friend. You know, like when you can just sit with them and you don't feel the need to try to make conversation. Yeah. And we are both good, you know? So I think he, he seems nervous about not, like, not allowing the room to just go quiet. He has to fill it up. And it's just not necessary. And he's not reading the room. But... That is all for the, you know. I, uh, who do you think will stay together? You see the first couple that came that we saw, Jasmine um, and Michael. Jasmina, yes, and Michael. That's what I thought. But then you know you have the friends and family who have set her up real good by saying she's dramatic or whatever. So you're in for a ride. We will, yeah. I, mean, I just don't I just know. Can't, like who are y'all? Ain't got good friends around y'all at all. Oh brother, so. It all seems quite interesting. I just well, hope it doesn't now. annoy us as much as it did last time. Because I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. If if, if they get on my nerves, <laughs> I'm most. <laughs> I'm 
I probably will watch the whole thing. <laughs> because I still want to know what happened. But oh my goodness. Please let some of them be compatible. That's all I can say. Well, you know, the <sighs> last five seasons, the experts really haven't done any good for anybody's life. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see though. Well, thank you for joining us. We invite you guys to like, <laughs> comment, subscribe, and share. Because we are lit. Please let us know Over your here. thoughts in the comments. I'm so excited to hear these thoughts to tonight, <laughs> tomorrow. But yeah. Thanks yeah. for joining us. It's Mary and Ama. Bye. Welcome. Thank you for watching another depressing episode of Mary at First Sight. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>